Open the boxes with your box cutter carefully to avoid scratching the finished panel surface. Neatly lay out all the parts and hardware and identify all the parts using the parts list. We recommend placing finished panels on a towel to prevent accidentally scratching the surface during assembly. Lay the cabinet door on your work surface with the pre-drilled holes facing upward. Insert the hinges into the large pre-drilled holes and fasten them with the provided screws. Attach the rubber bumpers to the front corners of your door. Locate the drawer face panel. Place the panel on your work surface with the dovetail joints facing upward. Attach the rubber bumpers to the top and bottom corners of the drawer's face panel. Locate the side panels of your drawer box. Place a thin line of wood glue along the dovetail joints and attach the side panels to your face frame. Ensure the long joint grooves at the bottom of your front and side panels are aligned. Gently tap the panels with your mallet to ensure a tight connection. Align the bottom panel of your drawer box with the joint grooves and slide it into place. Locate your drawer's back panel. Place a thin layer of wood glue along the dovetail joints and fit the panel into position. Gently tap the panels with your rubber mallet to ensure a tight fit. Use your nail gun to secure all connection points on your drawer panels. Turn your drawer box over on your work surface so the bottom is facing upward and align the undermount drawer glides behind the drawer face. Starting with one of the glides, remove the screw from the rightmost corner and move the top piece counterclockwise by 45 degrees. Use your drill to secure the front of the glide to the front of the drawer using the provided screws. Move the top glide piece back into position and replace the screw you removed earlier. Use the provided screws to secure the bottom of the glide to the drawer. Repeat these steps for the second drawer glide, then set your completed drawer box aside. Locate your cabinet box's bridge boards and side panels and remove any protective tape or film. Place the side panels on your work surface with the pre-drilled holes facing upward and the long back grooves facing away from each other. Insert the adjustable shelf supports into the pre-drilled holes. Use your hammer to straighten them and gently tap them into place. Locate the drawer tracks and note the recommended holes to attach them. On one of the side panels, pre-drill the holes at the pre-marked spots where the glide track will attach. Using your drill and the provided screws, attach the track by starting with the hole closest to the back, then work backward from the front of the track. Repeat these steps for your second drawer track. Add a thin layer of wood glue to the long groove and the dowel holes found toward the bottom of your side panel. Locate the bottom panel of your cabinet box and insert the dowels into the holes on your side panel. Gently tap the bottom panel with your mallet to ensure a tight connection. Slide the back panel of your cabinet box into place. Use your nail gun to secure the back panel where it meets with the bottom panel of your cabinet box. Use your drill to secure the back panel by attaching a corner bracket to the top corner of your back and side panel. Add a thin layer of wood glue to the dowels found on the other side of your cabinet's bottom panel and the edge of your back panel. Align the second side of your cabinet box with the dowels and back panel and firmly push it into place. Gently tap the connection points with your mallet to ensure a tight fit. Add a thin layer of wood glue to the dowels on your bridge boards. Insert them into the pre-drilled holes on your side panels. 
Use your rubber mallet to gently tap all connection points to ensure they are secure. Use your nail gun to secure where the topmost side meets your base's bottom panel, back panel, and bridge boards. Turn your cabinet box over and use your nail gun to repeat this step for the other side of your cabinet box. Use your drill to attach the second corner bracket to the top corner of your back and side panel. Stand your cabinet box upright. Insert the drawer box into the cabinet box and push it back until the glides are set on their tracks. You may need to open and close the drawer several times to set the glides on their tracks and fit the drawer flush with the rest of the unit. Use the orange gears on your drawer glides to adjust the drawer's position as needed. Place your cabinet box on its side with the front of the box facing you. Locate your cabinet door and lay it on your work surface with the hinges inside the cabinet box and the door panel flush with the side panel. A space roughly equal to the thickness of a credit card should be kept between the two panels. Use your drill and the provided screws to secure the hinges inside your cabinet box. To adjust the door front to back or side to side, remove the hinge caps and use a drill or screwdriver to manipulate the screws until the door is in the desired position. Once completed, replace the hinge caps. Lastly, install the adjustable shelf by angling it inside the cabinet box and placing it on top of the shelf supports. Congratulations on completing your assembly!